1981, New York City Mayor Ed Koch had an inventive plan to stop graffiti taggers from painting over subway cars in the city. They would bring in wolves. But the wolves soon reproduced and migrated underground and have been living in the city's tunnels for decades. After the sun sets, they have been known to visit the local parks, which is why they close at dusk. Still, the NYPD chalks up the majority of missing tourist reports each year to the city's subterranean canine inhabitants. So, on Christmas Eve, a handful of brave park rangers patrol Central Park to look out for idiot tourists. An old lady answered the door, and he handed her a sweater, saying, I gave your daughter a ride home last night, and she left this in my car. The old woman looked at the sweater and said, But my Lydia died in a car crash in 1963. And I guess she's still trying to get home. Dude, that's a stupid story. Who hitchhikes to a bra? I mean, I grew up in the sticks, and even there, nobody I knew would do something like that. Why are we telling ghost stories? It's Christmas, not Halloween. Well, it was actually a tradition for over a thousand years to tell ghost stories on Christmas Eve because, you know, it's the winter solstice. Oh, it was the longest, darkest night of the year. Exactly. So, on Christmas Eve, you're more likely to run into a specter than any other night of the year, I guess. Aren't the wolves scary enough for you to... Oh, okay, I got one. Thaddeus von Brunt was dead to begin with. This must clearly be understood, or nothing wonderful can come of the story I am about to relate. The register of his burial was signed by the clergyman, the clerk, the undertaker, and the chief mourner. John Hancock signed it. And Hancock's name was good upon change for anything he chose to put his hand to. Who's Thaddeus von Braun? A uh, decorated Revolutionary War hero. Without him, Benedict Arnold would never have been caught. How come I never heard of him then? Mm, no, they don't really cover him in school because he was also the first sodomite to be executed in a newly liberated New York State in the year 1781. So I repeat, Thaddeus von Braun was as dead as a doornail. Let me guess, the estate is haunted. By his ghost? Yes. And? Well, okay, that one's not really yet. <laughs> okay, that story's boring. I got one. It all began a week after Cyborg Monday in the village. Ah, yeah. The home of unsentient brotherly love. Yeesh. It was an unremarkable day at first. But... Things were about to get interesting. So long in the bathroom. What were you doing in there? Uh, Donna, what do you think I was doing in there? <laughs> uh, we're in a coffee shop in Chelsea. Hey, what exactly do you think guys do in a bathroom in Chelsea? Really? Well. By the way, where's Pius? Ow. Him! Ugh! 
He's been hired to perform an exorcism at the historic Thaddeus von Brunt Estate Museum. What? Uh, the place is haunted by the original owner. He was hanged as a sodomite shortly after the American Revolution, and now he likes to scare the dickens out of the normals. No offense to you. None taken. Uh, so Pius is gay bashing a ghost? And you're okay with this? Yeah, it's all good. I mean, it gives me an excuse not to give him a Christmas present. I love having falling outs with family during the holidays. Save a lot of money that way. <sighs> you are one petty bitch. Thank you. Flattery will get you, well, you have a vagina, so flattery will get you nothing. Oh, shut it, bitch. I already did towards you, dear. Ah. Uh, ew. So, I'm um, Candy. Who's your money on? The Oak King. Duh. What do you mean, duh? Uh, the Oak King mops the floor with the Holly King every Christmas. It's a tradition. Oh, shit, I gotta call my bookie. The Holly King always rebounds in May. A and since when are you into sports? What do you mean? I mean, look at that. Those two guys grabbing their big sticks. Whacking each other with them. Rolling around on the ground, getting all sweaty and dirty. Remind oh. me to put plastic on the furniture before you visit next time. Mayor, I appreciate you going, you know, door to door talking to people about the election, but I wouldn't vote for you even if I was registered to vote. Nancy, look at this. What am I looking at? I just got back from the doctor and apparently I have syphilis. On your thumb? I don't know, I must have gotten it in the uh, bathroom in the West Village. The bathroom was crowded, you know, it's the Christmas season, so I must have somehow accidentally gotten my thumb up some guy's ass while I was trying to get <laughs> Accidental? out. Accidental? Sure. Yeah, right. Whatever. Uh, accidental, that guy's ass. Yeah, put this on. Why? To stop the infection from what? spreading, you twat. Go back to that doctor and get cured. I don't want to foam at the mouth, lose my dick, and start taking sponge baths. But wait a minute. The doctor's office is going to be closing in about ten minutes. You'll never make it. Then, as usual, we do things my way. Get some bandages, some rubbing alcohol, and a boa constrictor. What do you need a boa constrictor for? To shuck the push out of your thumb? Fritz has already gotten himself in enough trouble with his own snake and sucking and stuff. Uh, hey, wait a sec. Now hold still. This may sting a bit. So then, Fulton turned the vacuum on in reverse. Fritz was covered in dust and then had an asthma attack. Gabby, I know I give you a lot of grief, but you are a much better amateur physician than the mayor is. Oh, wait, I can't take it. Oh, fudge. But I didn't say fudge. I said something else. Who gives a flying fuck? Pius, what do you want? I was trying to perform the exorcism at the historic Thaddeus von Brunt Estate Museum. Oh, good God. <laughs> really? And that ghost was so mean to me. We hardly think you're the victim here. He told me that I was wearing a dress. This is not a dress. And then, oh, he told me that the dress makes me look fat. No, Pius, that's not true. The dress is not what makes you look fat. Thank you for that, but who knew gay ghosts could be so vicious and bitchy? Yeah, <laughs> imagine that. <laughs> <laughs> Hi, 
What about we boil his thumb in water and put it in an electrical outlet? What? Well, that didn't work. Moving on. Hey, wait a sec. Oh, Fritz. Oh, I'm sorry. I didn't know you had company. This is an operation, not family role-playing night. Mr. Mayor, if you insist on performing surgery like this, you should probably pick a more sterile environment. The last person who got within five feet of Fritz's bed caught hepatitis C that way. Fritz, once again, it looks like Rudolph the Red-Nosed Reindeer splooged all over your walls. Are you still uh, giving reindeer blowjobs in exchange for frequent flyer miles? Or we could just get a knife and cut the thumb off. Tried that. Cut off my flipper instead. <laughs> oh shit. I should probably go to the ER and get it reattached or something. Let's wait go. Wait a minute, wait a minute. No, 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 no. What about me? We'll get back to it again later, wart boy. Don't answer your phone with that hand. Your phone will catch your cephalus. Hello? <laughs> what? <laughs> no, no, that's great. I, I guess, I mean, bye. Well, guys, that was my doctor. I must have misheard him because I don't have syphilis. I have sickle wrist. Sickle wrist? How the fuck do you, ah, uh, gross. Mm -hmm. Didn't the dead baby brother from the cartoon Anastasia have that? Last time I tried to help a pooster. What the fuck is wrong with you? You promised you would never tell a living soul. And it's not even a ghost story anyway. No, but it's still pretty scary anyway. And shocking. Shocking? Shocking how? Well, I really am shocked, Fritz, that you haven't gotten syphilis yet. The darkest night of the year will be upon us, the winter solstice. The spirits of Earth are here already, with a land that now slumbers on their wings. It is winter as I face this darkest solstice night. The spirits of air will arrive shortly. On their wings they will bring the essence of pine trees and the promise of spring as I face this darkest solstice night. Arriving not too far behind are the spirits of fire, bringing on their wings the first glint of tomorrow and the promise of summer as I face this darkest solstice night. And then they will be joined by the spirits of water. And on their wings are all bittersweet memories of the past and the promise of autumn as I face this darkest solstice night. And as cold and lonesome as this night promises to be, Sure enough, the dawn will break, and the Blessed Mother will have reborn the sacred light. The child divine, the most honored son, shall return with the sunrise. Again, two will be one. The Lord and the Lady, their combined energies flowing through the cosmos, bringing light to where there was once darkness, light to where there was once death, as the days grow longer and the nights grow shorter. The Mother will awake, the goddess of life, death, and rebirth, and she will behold her son, the hope of a new tomorrow, a baby that she bore, even as she slumbered silently. All will hail his rebirth, the promise of a giver of life, for he retakes his throne at the end of this darkest solstice night.